All right, so this is my uh, photo etch tool uh, that I made to, earlier today. I've been wanting to get into to some of the photo etch um, photo etching that they have for some of the model kits. For the, uh, I mainly want to do it for the cockpit. I know they have some for like the uh, landing gear and stuff like that, but the cockpit area is mainly where I wanted to do. I just wanted to give it a try. And a while ago, I was looking into it, and I seen that some of the uh, the kits are like thirty, forty dollars, fifty dollars, sixty dollars for some of the good ones. Um, they have smaller ones, but they're still kind of pricey, and I didn't want to pay that much for them. So um, earlier today, I just decided that I was just gonna make something that I can use, since all it was was just a piece of metal that you just tighten down, and it just held the photo wedge part in place, and you can bend it up ninety degrees or slightly bend it. Um, there are other parts where they have um, rounded parts in the back, but um, I, um, or you know, some people use dowels or uh, cylinders to kind of bend the parts around so that it's nice and curved. But for now, I'm just going to start off with just this and see how it goes. If it goes if it goes well, then I'll start making um, other parts for this that um, that'll work. But for now, I'm just going to show you how I put it together and show you that it does work. So I'm going to loosen this up before I take it all apart. I'm just going to loosen this up and I'm going to put a dollar bill on there because that's like the flattest thing right now, the thinnest thing that uh, I have on hand. So I'll just put it in there slightly and then I'll clamp it down, tighten it down. As you can see, it stays nice and tight in there. Okay, so that'll work well with the photo edge parts such as seat belts and other things that are in there in the cockpit area. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you what I used to make this kit, this little tool. Okay, so I, I went to Lowe's and I bought a piece of wood. Okay, it was about three feet long, two and a half feet long. It was like $2.36 for one piece and then it was like a dollar sum for this second piece, which is thinner. Okay, they're both about the same thickness. Okay. And then I had to buy some wing nuts, a washer, a couple of dowels. The dowels are only like a dollar, dollar eighteen each or something like that. Some compression springs. Okay. And then I had to buy this little, uh, this uh, uh, screw here with the flat end here. With make sure it has the uh, square on the bottom here so that when you put it in um, the screw is not spinning when you're loosening the uh, wing nut here it's just locked in place okay you can also glue it in as well to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere but I find that just putting it in works so let me go ahead and take it apart so I can show you exactly how it's made okay so what I did get it so it doesn't go anywhere okay so what I did is I just cut this uh, board let's see here into I just basically cut it you know the length that I wanted which is a little over seven inches seven and a quarter here I believe it is okay so that's the length there and then I did the same on that side and then I screwed three holes and then I put in a dowel the holes are the same, uh, same size as the dowel here on the for the bottom piece, and then for the top piece, I went ahead and, and made the holes a little larger than the dowel, so that it can slide up and down freely on both sides. Okay, like this, so it'll slide up and down. So then I put this, um, the screw on into the bottom. Okay, came up to the top, and then a uh, compression spring goes in. What I did here too is that I, I cut this out a little bit so that the compression spring can go down into it a little bit so that it's not flat, because if it's flat, the uh, the top piece is going to pinch and you're going to have a gap. So you have to make sure that it's it's uh, there's enough space down there so that the compression spring can go all the way down into. Also on the bottom as well, so you're going to have to do that as well. And also on the bottom, you have to kind of groove this out a little bit so that this washer can fit down nice and flat. 
And the reason for that is so that it can push down on this compression spring so that so that uh, the compression spring doesn't get inside the hole there. And then the washer goes on top and then the wing nut goes on. Okay. And then that's it. There it is. Okay, so all this was about ten bucks, eleven dollars total. So it wasn't too bad of a price. And what I'm going to end up doing? Oh, and also I had to put these little um, these little things on the bottom here, these little cushions here, be, uh, to lift it up a little bit higher. Uh, because this um, this part here is a little sticks out a little bit sticks out past the uh, wood. So it's not completely flush, so this keeps it there, otherwise it's just going to be rocking back and forth. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put this in a, uh, a die or I'm going to put it in a stain. And then I'm going to put a seal on it or a laminate coat over it to kind of give it a more, um, a better looking finish so that this doesn't kind of uh, wear out or get rough over time. So and then I may put a picture of that after it's done, but for now this is what it looks like. I kept these dowels higher, um, this side higher than this side because if I ever want that, um, I need to curb some of the um, photo etch parts, I can go ahead and curb them here. I may build another one with different size dowels so that I can just, um, with a different board um, and with the dowel spaced out, to where the different sizes and I can just curve them around it um, when I need it or I can also what I can do is put another board like this with uh, the dowels kind of uh, curved out right here in this, in, in, on the wood so that I can just push the dowel down or just keep a separate board so I can just push the photo etch parts down with the dowel into that part to give it that um, that curve that it needs if I find that I need it if not then I'm just going to stick with this but overall this is a quick build it wasn't too bad as long as you have all the parts then it's not too difficult so but there it is there is the photo etch tool kit there alright hope this helps out